Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising, Male and Female, who's coming towards you. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. Only take what resonates and lead it right to someone else. Thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, comments, and subscribes to my channel. For those of you who would like to donate to my channel, all that info is down below. So, let's go ahead and get into it for Gemini. Let's see who's coming towards you, my Gem Gems. Let's go ahead and get into it. Spirit and Universe, Holy Spirit, Angels of the White Divine Light, give me clear messages for who's coming towards Gemini. All right. Let's see. And one more shuffle. Let's see who's coming towards Gemini. Sun, moon, and rising male and female. Spirit, please give me clear messages. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Who's coming towards you? We got the Ace of Cups. New love. Maybe a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is somebody who is... Yeah, this could be a new love is what I'm getting with the Ace of Cups. Let's see what are their intentions towards you, Gemini. We have the, ooh, Seven of Swords. Interesting. So some sneaky business going on here. Uh, this person could be being very manipulating. Seven of Swords. I'm not liking this energy. They could be trying to plan something, strategize. Here's what I'm getting. Let's see the challenge. We got the Queen of Wands. So the challenge is going to be taking action with this person or towards this person. Or there could be a fire sign involved here. Okay. This person could be sneaking, being very deceptive with the Seven of Swords. How do they see you, Gemini? We have the Emperor. Okay. So they see you as... Very controlled with this emperor energy. They see you as very masculine energy or, you know, you could be a male energy. Or if you are a female energy, they just could see you as being in this emperor type of vibe, uh, boss type figure with the emperor energy. Let's see. How do they feel about you? We have the hermit. So you could be a secret here with the hermit energy but this new this is somebody new that's in your life but they could be with someone and they may be keeping you as a secret let's see what are they not telling you we have the page of cups what are they hiding from you we have the nine of pentacles what do they need to work on we got the nine of swords where is this relationship headed with you Gemini we got the six of swords and the outcome, we got the star card. So let's go ahead and clarify. All right, so who's coming towards you? This is somebody who is new. This is a new love with the Ace of Cups. Somebody who's, somebody that's new. A new romantic love interest with the Ace of Cups. We got the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or a water sign. Their intentions towards you. Yeah, seven of swords and the three of swords. A lot of mental energy here with the sword energy. But their intentions is to be sneaky, being deceptive. Yeah, this person could be married. What is going on? Yeah, this person could already have someone. Because that's the challenge, getting past this queen of wands energy. Okay, let's clarify the queen of wands. We got the king of pentacles. All right, and how do they see you as this emperor energy controlled? Okay, they, well, they may see you as someone who could be um, a father figure or, you know, could be great, like maybe a provider. They see you as a provider, someone who's stable, someone who could be good for marriage or something of that sort. Um, let's see. Interesting for how they feel about you. So they could be keeping the, their feelings for you a secret here. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am with the hermit. Yeah, we have the empress. So they could be, 
Yeah, they, yeah. Okay, so they feel that because we got the Empress and we have the Emperor. So they see you as marriage material, wifey material, husband material, that type of energy. They feel that you would be a great provider, great nurturer, a great mother. Here is what I'm getting as well with this um, Emperor energy. Okay, let's clarify this page of cups for what they're not telling you. Got the Ace of Wands and the Page of Cups. So, they may not be telling you that maybe they already have children. Okay. What are they hiding from you? We have the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. So, maybe the fact that they, they could be acting as if they are single with the Nine of Pentacles. But I feel like they have options with the Seven of Cups. Or this could be illusions. So what do they need to work on? We have the nine of swords. So they're having a lot of anxieties. A lot of sleepless, restless nights. They're in their emotions. Okay. They may need to work on getting a grip on their emotions. But where is this relationship? How did we do have the six of cups? I mean six of swords. So this is traveling, relocating, moving forward to more calm and stable waters. Okay. Maybe grounding yourself, focusing on yourself and your money, your finances, and the outcome. We got the stars. So they're still healing or there's still hope for this connection. But there's a lot of people involved in this relationship. So I'm definitely going to be pulling some cards. Um, I would have... Uh, clarified again, but that would be too much. And it's already a lot of people in this reading as well. A lot of relationships. We got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. We have the Emperor and we have the Empress. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. There's a lot of people in your reading, Gemini. All right. So, yeah. So, you could be this. You could uh, You could have been. You could be meeting somebody new. But this person is already attached to a situation. And so, they're being deceptive and they're being sneaky. Okay. And the challenge is trying to build something with this person because they already have someone but they also see you as marriage material they also see you as a nurturer someone who would be a great provider someone who would be a great mom you understand what i'm saying so this reading here is definitely very confusing okay so let's pull some angel answers for you scorpio I mean, Scorpio, shit. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Wow, that came from out of nowhere. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, Gemini, I'm sorry about that. Okay, but there is still hope, though. For some strange reason, we do have the star card. So, the outcome of this, there's still hope to heal this situation. Um... And, you know, unfortunately, there's still an offer here on the table with the Four of Cups from this person. We have get more information. So some of you need to, instead of jumping into a situation with this person right off the bat, you need to get more information. Do some investigating is what I'm getting. We have improving health. And let's get one more for Gemini regarding this situation. Thank you, Spirit. We have compromise. So, again, I, I am seeing that there is still hope for this connection with the star card being the outcome. Like, there's still hope here for this connection to be healed. If this person is willing to compromise and balance some things out and improve themselves, okay, Let's grab some loving relationship oracles. This reading is very confusing. Okay. Honesty. Yeah. I feel like this person needs to be honest. Be more honest and improve themselves from the inside out. 
you need to also get more information about this person's life. Um, again, they need to do some sort of compromising and balance some, balancing this situation out to be honest about, you know, this unhappy connection that they're in. We have perfect match, yeah, and wants and needs. So, again, I'm almost getting a feeling like this person may want to have their cake and eat it, too. They also feel like, again, you are their perfect match. They feel like you are the perfect one to marry. But, again, they need to get rid of their baggage, They could be not telling you that they have children or that maybe somebody is pregnant here with the Ace of um, Wands, okay? They may not be telling you that, okay? They could be keeping that a secret um, and acting as if they're single, okay? But they need to make this decision here with the Seven of Cups, and this is what they're hiding. A lot of illusions. A lot of smoke and mirrors here is what I'm getting. And again, there are a, a number of people in your reading. We have all the elements here. Okay. So, this is a very tricky, Gemini. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pull a few um, tea leaf fortune telling oracle cards. And then we're going to bring this reading to a, a close. We have guaranteed success. And let's see, what other messages do you have for Gemini regarding this situation? This complicated situation. We have new home, new attitude. Okay. Let's get one more for Gemini spirit. Thank you. Oh, okay. We got uh, muddled, unclear thinking. We have romances in the air. We have something important such as a new job or raise. We have great good fortune, four leaf clover. We have the wall card. Wow. Miss, uh, okay, misunderstanding. We have older woman dealings or relationship with an older woman. We have the older man dealings or relationship with an older man. And we also have cheer filled. Someone new is entering your life. So again, this is going back to this Ace of Cups. This is definitely somebody new that's entering your life. But I feel like they need to do some sort of improving within themselves. Improving their relationship or whatever situation they got going on. In order to move forward. But again, older man, older woman. This is definitely a relationship. Okay. And it is definitely guaranteed success. If both parties come together and compromise. Okay. That's what I'm getting. So we have all the elements here. Gemini, if this reading resonated with you in any way. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.